reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Matthew chapter 6, verses from 1 to 6 and 16 to 18. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. For then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you. As the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, you must not like be, be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward, but when you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father, who is in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces, that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. <clears throat> the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, today is the first day of Lent and we call it as Ash Wednesday. This Ash Wednesday was established by Pope Saint Gregory the Great in the year 590 to 604 as the first day of Lent. Pope St. Paul VI declared Ash Wednesday to be the day of universal fasting and abstinence. It is a tradition of the Church to observe fasting and abstinence as a constituent part of repentance. As we begin the Lent season, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, by imposing of ashes on our forehead represents that penance is very much important. We could also see in the Old Testament when the people of Nineveh was asked by, by the prophet Jonah, people all have wore the sackcloth and applied ashes on their forehead. And that was a tradition that was taken up in, even in our Catholic Church and even in the other churches. People apply or pour the ashes on their head. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, every year we are entering into this Lent season. Every year is a place, time to give, given to us for 40 days to repent for our sins and to understand the gracious mercy of God. And every year passes by, but we still wanted to become like that of those people, so-called hypocrites that we have heard from today's gospel. 
But I would like to tell you the what does it mean by Lent for all of us? What does it mean by how to make this Lenten season a fruitful one? How to make this Lenten season a fruitful one so that we may be in the God's mercy so that we may all understand His mercy and His forgiveness and His love for all of us. The first is, my dear friends, in Jesus Christ, we need to look at the land as a time of being proactive. What does it mean? The proactive means to accept our unworthiness in sight of God. We know when we ask, did you make confession? Some people would say, why should I make a confession? Because I am not a sinner. We always try to make ourselves that we are more than whatever God thinks of us. We need to accept their unworthiness. That's what we say, for I am a sinner, admitting my weakness before God and realizing that I am a sinner, that hoping for my best. And this proact also tells us to surrender ourselves to the Lord. That's what we have read in today's first reading. Return to your God for He is gracious and merciful. We need to return to God because of our unworthiness, because of our weaknesses, because of our failures in life to, in order to understand His love. We need to come back to the Lord so that His mercy is so gracious for all of us. And even it says to be humble before the Lord. You need to make this Lenten season as a proactive to accept our unworthiness and to, what do you call, to surrender ourselves to the Lord and to humble before the Lord. When you do these things, my dear friends, in Jesus Christ, your Lenten season becomes a fruitful one. When you say Lenten season, we always think in a different forms because saying that I need to fast, I need to forego my meat, I need to go for prayer, I need to attend all kinds of spiritual activities. No, your spiritual activities, whatever you participate in the Holy Eucharistic celebration or the adorations or the special prayers have to be understood in a proactive sense, my dear friends. When your Lenten season becomes a fruitful one when you think that way. And the second is, Lent is a time of hope. What does it mean? Back to the Lord. Come back to the Lord. When you read the story of the prodigal son, what happened? The younger son went away from his father because he wanted to enjoy to the world. Whatever the, is possible, he enjoyed his life to the maximum when he realized that this is not my life. When he realized that this is not the way that I am supposed to live. When he realized that this is not the way that I am, I am supposed to live. He turned back to the Lord, my dear friends, in Jesus Christ. He would have lost his hope, no. By the end of the day, one day he realized that my, in my father's kingdom, most of them are enjoying, even the soldiers, even the slaves are happy in the sight of my father. Why should I suffer here? And that kind of hope should be in our, you and me, my dear friends, in Jesus Christ. Our Lenten season has to bring us a kind of hope. That hope has to be turned back to the Lord and enjoy your blessings in the God's mercy. And even when you look at the story of Zacchaeus, what happened? When Jesus, want to pass, when Jesus was passing by, Zacchaeus saw Jesus from the from a sycamore tree. When he looked at Jesus, and Jesus looked at him and said, Come on, today the salvation has come to this house. Why did he say that? Because of his hope to see Jesus. Because he realized his mistakes. Because he realized that what he was doing is not the so he is that not he, that was not the supposed by supposed to do by, by himself. When he looked at Jesus and when God looked at him, because of that hope and the eagerness to see Jesus brought hope in the, life, in the sight of God and in the life of uh, Jacobus. Now, my dear friends, in Jesus Christ, these are the two important aspects when you look at the Lenten season. And the third is, and third and the last is, Lent is to call 
for repentance. My dear friends, in Jesus Christ, it is a call for both to individual and the community. As a community, as every individual, this is a time for all of us to come back to the Lord with a repentant heart. Come back to the Lord with a repentant heart. It is a call to fasting. Why do we fast? Because of our sins. Because of our sins. Because we are going away from the Lord. Because by abstaining from all kinds of food, by praying and by giving almsgiving, we try to come back to the Lord, my dear friends, in Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear friends in Jesus Christ, during this Holy Eucharistic celebration, especially we, as we are entering into the season of Lent, let us pray that we may understand the Lenten season as a proactive that I am a sinner, so I want to come back to the Lord and with a great hope that God will forgive my sins so that I may become His true sons and daughters. Amen.